The first ever Climax component set a new flagship standard in 1999. A groundbreaking mono amplifier that broke with convention, Climax Solo. 25 years hence, it has stood the test of time, outlasting any other electrical product in our range, and so it was with great reverence that we approached designing its replacement. The successor to this legendary amp would have to be nothing short of exceptional. Climax Solo 500 is a complete redesign from fundamentals of our most successful amplifier ever, the Climax Solo. We've maximised the use of every bit of space within its machine from a solid enclosure to create a product that is an improvement over its legendary predecessor in every way, while crucially still boasting a compact form factor. We've taken our flagship amplifier and power supply technologies and come up with designs that fit inside this sleek and minimalist casework, ensuring that Solo 500 is a staggering upgrade. It's the ideal drop-in replacement for existing systems, which feature either the original Solo or third-party amplifiers, and its neat size lends itself particularly well to active setups and scenarios where space is at a premium. Solo 500 performs optimally from the moment it's powered on and will continue to throughout its lifetime, thanks to our adaptive bias control system. It has huge available power, a devastatingly low noise floor, and 85 times lower distortion measurements than its predecessor. Solo 500 follows Solo 800 and 360 loudspeakers in utilizing our adaptive bias control technology to optimally set the biasing of the output stage of the amplifier. The output stage of a Class AB amplifier is the part that's tasked with actually delivering the required power into the loudspeakers. It's made up of two sets of high power transistors, one that handles the positive side of the signal and one that handles the negative side. The smooth handover from one to the other as the signal crosses through zero is crucial to the performance of a Class AB amplifier. To aid this smooth handover, a bias voltage is applied to the output transistors which in turn causes a small bias current to flow through them. This current needs to be set at a very specific level in order to achieve the lowest possible distortion. However, the relationship between the applied bias voltage and the resulting bias current isn't constant. It changes significantly with the temperature of the output transistors, as well as over their lifetime. There are techniques used in conventional Class AB amplifiers that can help to correct for some of these variations, such as slow changes in temperature. However, these techniques are ineffective at correcting for things like rapid changes in temperature, which can occur from large transients in music, as well as changes in transistor characteristics over their lifetime, and variations between individual transistors. The accuracy of the correction is also likely to drift over time, and all of this means that the performance of an amplifier may degrade over its lifetime and vary between units in a single setup. With our adaptive bias control, we constantly monitor the amplifier's output current, digitize it, and then use some signal processing in the digital domain to extract the instantaneous bias current. We can then compare this to the ideal level that we're aiming for and correct for any errors in real time. This approach gets around the issues with the more conventional techniques. Both slow and rapid changes in temperature can be measured and corrected for, and changes in device characteristics over the lifetime of the amplifier will be accounted for due to the digital nature of the correction method. Also, any other potential error sources and long-term changes are dealt with by calibration routines that take place during startup. Overall, this contributes to an amplifier that will always perform optimally over its full lifetime from the moment it's turned on. And each Solar 500 in your system will perform exactly the same as the others. As with any Class AB amplifier, we have to effectively remove the heat that is generated during use to allow it to operate to its maximum potential, and managing this within a compact form factor is a challenge. In Solo 500, we've made use of a hybrid cooling approach, designed to be equally effective at passively cooling the system at lower temperatures, and actively cooling the system at higher temperatures when the amplifier is being pushed hard. When cooling passively, Heat is transferred and spread through our machined thermal plate and into a series of fins that radiate the heat away into the air. When the active part of the cooling system starts, air is pressurized and equally distributed through the channels between those same fins. As the air moves along each of the channels, 
it pulls the heat away from the fins and exits through the top and rear of the amplifier. The cooling fins, with their zigzag shape and restricted openings, are designed to allow the air to remove the maximum amount of heat as it moves down each channel. The openings of each channel help to equalise the pressure and flow of air across the cooling plate, while the zigzag profile of the fins helps to encourage turbulence and increase the interaction between the moving air and the fins. The design of this thermal plate was optimised through a computer simulation in order to give the best combination of evenly spreading heat, equalising pressure and airflow, and maximising the passive and active cooling achieved by the fin matrix. For Solo 500, we implemented a new intelligent fan control system to manage the cooling of the amplifier. As well as monitoring the temperature of the product, the control system also measures the level of the signal coming into the amplifier in real time. A combination of these readings is then used to set the speed of the low profile fans, which are mounted deep within the chassis to help minimize noise. During quieter passages of music, when the input signal falls below a set level, the fans are turned off completely and they remain inactive until the signal level returns to above a set level for a certain amount of time. Extensive thermal testing was carried out in order to let us create a control system that provides the cooling the product needs at any given time with the minimum amount of active cooling that is required. When this all comes together, it results in a cooling system that allows the amplifier to work optimally while taking up the minimum amount of space. Another important factor in the thermal performance of the amplifier is the new Utopic power supply that's been designed specially for this product. It's similar to the supply in Solo 800, but it's just scaled down to suit the power requirements of Solo 500. As well as having very impressive efficiency across all conditions, another feature of the Utopic supply that's key to the thermal performance of the amplifier as a whole is its ability to vary its output voltage. These auto voltage rails allow us to adapt the Utopic's output voltage to the audio signal so that it's only ever delivering the necessary power based on what it's playing and at what volume. This avoids extra power being generated that would otherwise be wasted as heat, and therefore overall amplifier efficiency is improved, resulting in a much cooler running amp. This is a feature that is only made possible because Utopic is a switch mode power supply. It couldn't be achieved with the traditional linear power supplies that are found in many other amplifiers. Linear power supplies also require very large transformers, which significantly increases their overall size. Because Utopic is switch mode, we avoid the need for a large transformers, and therefore the size of the power supply and the amplifier as a whole is much smaller. This is one of the main things that allows Solar 500 to be so compact. Solo 500's overall aspect is one of minimalist and sophisticated beauty, with a seamless construction of precision machined pieces, which give the impression of a single aluminium mass. Upon closer inspection, you see the machined from solid casework, with its combination of clean lines and elegant curves, is punctuated by finely designed and characterful details. The vents on the top surface, with their crisp outline, and smooth catch light surface disguise the openings for air to exit the cooling system. The front face of Solo 500 features a beautiful smooth swept surface which meets with the lower section through an elegant fillet which evolves and varies depending on lighting conditions. The lines of these faces lead your eye to the centerpiece, the roundel. This roundel at the center of the front face evolves when viewed from different angles. The steel body and glass front surround the beautiful radial chrome detail behind, with the LIN logo illuminated during operation. Framing the roundel, the recessed groove illuminates during operation and adds playful character when powering up, entering and exiting sleep mode. With a combination of reverence, passion, creativity and innovation, we have created a worthy successor to the original Solo. Climax Solo 500 is an amplifier with big credentials and reference level performance in a remarkably compact form. With a characterful and precision machine design that complements its function, hybrid cooling matrix with intelligent fan management and adaptive bias control, 
Climax Solo 500 has had every cubic millimeter optimized to render it a staggering improvement over the legendary amp it replaces. It's the best compact monoblock amplifier we've ever made.